when I was told how many people would be here, I was a little skeptical. And I came out, the gymnasium is full, it's great here, great to be, uh, you know, with the Trojans and with the uh, members of the Trump community and, and the Valley Electric uh, customers who are going to be uh, uh, at their annual meeting today and uh, going to talk about a lot of the exciting things that are happening out in the Valley. I know you're the keynote speaker. Is there yeah. some items that you're going to focus on? Well, I'll tell you what I'm very impressed with. And I'll talk about a lot of things about uh, American, about Nevada, but I'll tell you, I'm also going to focus on what's happening in this community and throughout uh, Valley Electric's uh, customer base uh, with the broadband internet connection and the connectivity. That's huge uh, for rural Nevada. And uh, I'll tell you what, what Valley Electric is doing in that regard is cutting edge and it's a pattern and a model for the rest of the state. Uh, so I'll talk about that and I'll talk about uh, how great it is that uh, Valley Electric is, uh, is involved in the charging stations for electric cars uh, and how the electric highway is being developed in Nevada and Valley Electric is a big part of that. It's kind of amazing to see this company come from a uh, rural uh, business here in Pahrump to its expansion, which you can see obviously has something to do with the management of the organization. Well, I've, I've, I've toured Valley Electric's facilities and talked to their management uh, and their leadership and their visionaries, and they are people who want to take care of their customers. And I think as a result of that, you're seeing the company grow and expand, and people really trust them and believe that they've got the, the interests of the customers at heart. It's a great opportunity for me to represent District 36, but when you represent a company in the district like um, Valley Electric is, and the things that they're doing that will be the envy of every rural community in this state, and how they're diversifying and how they're doing broadband to all the homes, it's just an amazing process. And some of the legislation that we passed during the last session is going to require the infrastructure that many communities don't need and don't ha or don't have, not don't need, they need them, but that will be able to now. Uh, do telemedicine and telehealth and some of those things that where you don't have to go to the doctor every time. And with the speed and intensity of the broadband that's going to be here in this community, I think you're going to see a tremendous growth spurt for, for businesses coming here and being able to do things. The other thing I think is great is uh, the traveling and those kind of things will be significantly reduced. As, as you know, they're cutting edge with the electric highway, put the charging yeah. stations up in Beatty. Uh, Faraday is coming out with vehicles that are basically going to be, uh, you know, hopefully drive themselves to some degree. Uh, Google's working on the cars that are going to drive themselves. Nevada's poised to be on the cutting edge of all that technology. So uh, you heard the things about aerospace. Nevada is diversifying its economy. Pahrump's going to be a big part of that.